Yeah, what's up, weed nerds? Hope everyone's doing good. Got some additions to the garden. And, uh, got an earful again today. We got the electroculture. One of the homies came up in the chat and said, Yo, you know about electroculture? And I didn't. And so, made, in the past few days, been soldering. Haven't soldered since ninth grade. And uh, made some pyramids. And they're supposed to just create good energy fields and magnetic energy and uh, capture positive ions and just radiate healing and uh, disease suppression, water retention, plant health, um, nutrient availability in soil, AFGO, doing decent compared to some of the dudes I've seen. Holy shit. But we're just getting this train rolling, so don't you worry. Topped it. Side branching. We've got a uh, simple, there it's called a Lakofsky coil. And it's just this uh, copper ring with the open ends and uh, some debusters create good magnetic field around the base and really bring up the water and the nutrients and uh, and everything is facing even the coils, the Kofsky coils they're all facing north just like the angles of these and the angle of this is all facing north and that's got something to do with it and then uh, we've got some spirals and I've got one on the other side of the bed right there and then the other one's got two also This guy got a oak tree popping up, probably from the uh, acorns. But all the plants, I, I I couldn't wait for the sex testing. We had some issues with with the mail. I made it in on Friday. So we'll have results tomorrow or Tuesday and um, we're going to try to up pot the males but they were just getting too, they were going too far in the wrong direction for my liking. So I had to, I had to get them in the bed so we're not going to have the most even <coughs> time getting a canopy but the buckwheat got smashed down. The blue soak are, are just getting dialed in, probably this week. This is the plant that, that popped out of the soil on its own. And I up potted it, it looked like hell for like five days, four days. And then uh, now it looks just phenomenal. And I think that's a ice cream cake uh, clone cross that I made. And this is a tomato plant. So the two things that popped up in the beds that I, I ripped out and transplanted are fucking crushing it. Tomato plant. And then this is the tomato plant I started with the seeds. And it's just not the same. It kind of looks like all the ganj. But the things that popped up on their own, looking real good. We got our order of beneficial mites in the mail. This is what this is what they came in. This was all filled with eggs. Each each one had like I don't know, just a few uh, 
there was 500. That was the um, green lacewing eggs and larvae, the aphid lion, they are called. And I can't even find an aphid in here, and it's only been since Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and then I've got the, the parasitic wasp. This guy. Oh, that's the name down there. And, uh, and I've seen these guys cruising around. Let's see if we can find, I know I can find a green lacewing larvae. The aphid lion. Um, but so what I've seen with the electroculture is just with my own eyes and the video footage of people like open sourcing their information, um, it's a clear difference. Like 30 to 40 percent yield increase in plant health and I mean all the stuff that I named. Let's see, these guys are small so we're hunting. Where are you? Beneficials. Laid down some new seed. A lot of pumpkins and squash just from what we've been eating. What I suggest everybody look into electroculture. Um, I also had some ladybugs that popped up in my windowsill on their own. They must be laying eggs. And, uh, and I brought them in here and they seem to be thriving. These little buggers sucked that I had uh, released the beneficial mites and then just a few days later, like two days later, I mashed down all the cover crop that they were crawling in. So like, I've seen them crawling all around still, but just not ideal uh, living conditions to smash your cover crop down after. Oh, they are elusive now. I got some, the garlic I planted popping up in a few different places. Let's see, let's see. Uh, things seem to be finally getting a little more dialed in. Where are you guys? Well, maybe we won't get a shot of them. But, oh, got one, got one, got one. Green lacewing larvae. Buddy, he's on the prowl. These guys are like Vlad the Impaler. They uh, they have spikes on their back, and they go in and they attack an aphid, suck the juice out of their body, and then impale on their back spikes the dead carcass and build them up as like armor and um, and to be intimidating and then because the uh, the aphids and the ants they feed off each other they kind of mine each other the aphids leave the honeydew little like clear sap that they excrete and the ants eat that and, and you know, bring that back to the colony, nice sweet sugar. And, um, oh, look at this guy. And uh, the ants will attack the green lacewing because the aphids have a little tailpipe that they excrete a pheromone when they're being attacked. So the lacewing goes in 
gets attacked by ants, gets a few kills and backs off and uses the dead bodies to, you know, armor. And the ants go and they start pulling off the dead bodies and can't get to them. So pretty cool, aphid lion, the green lacewing. Uh, definitely a good idea if you have aphids. Oh, look. This guy's had his wing all screwed up since he came in, but he's been in here for over a week, probably 10 days. There he goes into the plant. Oh, coming back. Now I just think he's having fun. Indy 500. Stu's gonna get first place. But just uh, just from my opinion, the the health of everything, just the the vibe in the room, the. Just everything kind of changed when I put the pyramids in here. You know, the ground wires, that's all good. I, you know, I got the ground wires if you haven't been paying attention. And that was kind of the first. I did this years ago, like over seven years ago, I put ground wires in. And uh, here's, here's one lead in this bed. And so, you know, you get a little help there, but the triangles, yeah, man, I think it's where it's at. We had a few little mushrooms popping up. I have no idea where they are. Um, and they were not the King Shafaria. Oh, oh, look at this guy, he just jumped on me. I just brushed a plant. Yeah, see? These guys will even be able to like navigate through like if you got aphids in the beginning of flower they can manage themselves in uh, in the canopy and through the hairs and uh, maybe a teeny bit a little resin but I've never had beneficials on my done flowers I they kind of stare clear just like everyone else I mean it's it's a deterrent for pests and uh, protection for the plant Wow, I think you just bit me, dude. Time to go. Alright, he's home somewhere. He just... Yeah, I think he just bit me. Oh, there's another one. Now they're showing themselves. And the parasitic wasp, I mean, I saw like two of those out of the 500 in four days so I doubt we're gonna get a sighting but the parasitic wasp they really love the buckwheat they will they will feed on this buckwheat pollen it really calls them in uh, in the wild also and Lakowski coils each plant has one try to get these girls guys back green Back praying. We'll get there. Sunflowers. Come on, Afgu. I did just heavy water. And we're just checking in different places. And then once it comes up to 80, not, I'll probably set it at 90. And more for the moisture. So, what? Had some dry pockets, had some wet pockets. 
I just wanted to make sure that everything was moist, evenly set up. Bickety bam. We're gonna be eating tomatoes through the winter. Peace guys.